In summer of 2007, I visited the Kingdom of Cambodia once again. <laughs> Cambodia, located in the center of Indochina, a land about the half the size of Japan, the population is about 13 million and 800,000. After the end of the civil war, which started from the 1970s, there is peace today. Now, tourists from all over the world visit Angkor, and as its result, Cambodia is achieving rapid economic growth. In fact, this was my second trip to Cambodia. My first visit was just after my appointment as UNDP Goodwill Ambassador. It was in 1999. At that time, there were slums in the suburbs of Phnom Penh. A great number of poor people were living there. <laughs> However, in 2007, those slums had disappeared. Although, this did not mean that people are not suffering from poverty anymore. Cambodia is going through an economic boom. The value of land in Phnom Penh is going up very fast. The squatters, the poor people, may be on a piece of land where they want to build a shopping center or they want to build an office building. And then, you know, they move those people out it's the Phnom Penh municipality. The rapid economic growth was surely widening disparity between the people. More than 80% of the population lives in agricultural communities, and half of these people live on less than one dollar a day. In this area, more than 70% of the farmers live on less than half a dollar a day. At Yen Commune in Semriap province, with UNDP support, a new piggery system was introduced. UNDP helps to breed the pigs at the local farms. The farms take 60% of the newborn piglets, and the rest will be shared out for the villages which are in need. We also witnessed many Japanese ODA projects for reconstruction assistance. This is the very first bridge built over the Mekong River, Spin Kizuna, the bridge of bond between Cambodia and Japan. This bridge improved the transportation condition between the capital and the rural areas. Now, it is a lifeline for the country's society and economy. In Cambodia, insufficient supplies of safe drinking water in the rural areas were causing cypress, epidemics, and diarrhea. The Japanese government constructed 355 deep wells with hand pumps in 115 villages of Kompongcham province. Built with the advanced technology of Japan, the well is deep enough that it will not dry up, even if it doesn't rain for three years. Along with the improvement of people's lives, a movement to deal with the negative legacy from the past is beginning. The trial on the Khmer Rouge at the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia is now in preparation. It is said that the Pol Pot regime murdered one to two million people while their so-called three years and eight months. In 2003, the United Nations General Assembly and the Cambodian government agreed to establish a war crime court to try the Khmer Rouge. Since 2006, UNDP has been supporting the establishment by preparing the court building. One of the major problems that Cambodia suffers from is HIV AIDS. According to the government, 220,000 people are HIV positive. 
This is a sewing factory in Phnom Penh. A women's group living with HIV founded this factory. UNDP is supporting these women by supplying sewing machines and dispatching instructors. 30 women work here. Most of them chose to work in this factory by their own will. Their products are beginning to appear in markets branded as Modern Dress Sewing Factory, MDSF. Poverty is deeply related with environmental problems. It could lead the people to poaching, also to destruction of nature. UNDP supports the Tonlesap Lake Conservation Project. This huge lake is the lifeline of Cambodia. By training the local people as rangers, UNDP supports job creation, also to protect the environment together with its precious wildlife. To let rapid economic growth and conservation of nature coexist, to rectify disparities for the poor, and to break the tragic cycle so that continues from the past. This beautiful country needs continuous assistance from the international community.